All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Bongo Stray Dogs Season Five, Episode Two. Apologies for not uh, uploading a reaction to the last episode. I had completely forgot it was actually coming out. I don't think that's my fault, considering this came out a few months after Season Four. Um, but yeah, I didn't know Episode One came out until like a day later. So I was like, shit. Well, Episode Two on the channel at least. Uh, yeah, watch Episode One. It was very good. Obviously, Rampo. With the Giga Brain plan, as always, managed to pull everything together and hopefully has now cleared the, the detective agency's name. He managed to save, uh, save everyone, like, for real. Like, just well done, Rampo. Um, and then we also cut to a part with Nikolai and Sigma, uh, who Nikolai explains how he saves Sigma, why he saves Sigma, as well as his plans for Theodore, which is going to be interesting. Uh, and we also have an idea of who may actually have the page now, although the person who was supposed to have the page was the person that Rampo was disguised as. I don't know. It's a little bit confusing, but bottom line is Rampo's the GOAT. So yeah, I'm very excited for this episode. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. It's actually quite easy to become an excellent detective. Well, I mean, explain it, bro. You don't have abilities. How do you do it? <laughs> Wait, this is a cut back to season four. I was wondering what was going to happen with Sky. Oh, no, wait, is this not the cut back to season four? This is just Rampo in a police car again. Yeah, okay, so this is this is season five activities. People are believing him now. Let's go! Yeah, because he said in the last episode that he sent evidence to, like, every police station. That's dope. Some cops are good in uh, Rampo's eyes. Damn, so we got police versus military now. Or police versus SWAT. Or police versus police, I guess. I wonder what these hound dogs or whatever they're called are going to make of this in this incident then. I wonder what they're going to believe. Oh, <laughs> the whole squad's safe. Let's go. <laughs> Hold him back. Oh, that's cute. Oh my god. <laughs> they actually took bro's hands. What? The funnest part of the job. <laughs> Classic. Help us build our counter-terrorism organization. Why does he look so angry? Oh, what the hell? Why is he throwing up? Oh. <laughs> and he's cleaning up his own sick. Frog eggs? Ew. Is this supposed to be some kind of hangover cure? So not just a counter-terrorism organization in Japan, in Europe. Yeah? That sounds fucking crazy. Jurisdiction to do what they want in every nation is crazy. People still believe this? Well, they don't believe this now? Standard Mechanical Island. Where the hell is this? United Nations? Yeah? They could never make it work? Actually, everybody in this room has to say yes, and that's how they'd make it work. You know who the fuck I am. Shit, maybe it can work with this guy at the helm. Yeah, you're just gonna walk up on stage? <laughs> what is that poster? Adapted into three films, wow. <laughs> That's ridiculous, he had films made about him. 
Are these real things that happened in the world? His sign, yeah, autograph, I knew it. It's so goofy. <laughs> He's so goofy. Imagine this guy being a leader of a worldwide terrorist uh, counter-terrorist force. At what point does it go too far, though? Like, where like every nation become could become like a police state, and people are just constantly under surveillance. They have no more freedom. Like, this doesn't sound great. And this counter-terrorism force could turn on the world. Like, that would be fucking awful. Supernatural armed security force. <laughs> the army of mankind. Bro knows how to motivate people. <laughs> yeah, Rampo. Oh my god. Oh shit. He wants a chat. The way he just convinced the, the entire world and that Rampo's gonna convince him. These two know each other? <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> oh yeah. So do you wanna do you wanna help the detective agency? Not you're joining forces with me. I'm joining forces with you. <laughs> yeah. He's doing it right now. But the words he's saying right now are basically psychologically psychologically convincing him. But I mean, it's it's uh, he's just doing it, he's doing it in a good way, I suppose. Nice. The president trusts you. I trust you. <laughs> yeah, just sitting on the big ass yacht. Wait, is it only him he's managed to get in on this? Not the whole of the hunting dogs? Bro is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Rampo doesn't give a fuck. Damn, they've known each other since they were kids. He's jealous because he's closer to the president. So Rampo knows who it is, but for the audience's sake, he's not telling us yet. <laughs> I love how he does this every time. The fact that Fyodor is not the head of the organization is kind of wild. It, so, I'm guessing then it's probably someone that we know. Rampo doesn't like it. Shit, I'm kind of worried. Wait, what? No way, it's him. Shit. No, it can't be. I mean, it would explain why he's, like, taking on this role of the counter-terrorism task force. This is going to put the Decay of Angels in a lot of power. No way. Oh, 
I don't believe it. There's no way Rampo would let something like this slip unless he really just did trust him. Oh, shit. My, but if this was part of the plan, though, and they lured him onto the ship, please let it be that. Oh, shit. They would have done some dark shit. Oh, shit. Come on, let this be part of the plan, please. What? What? He didn't finish the sentence, though. Oh, wow, okay. Man, was this really not part of the plan? This is like an insane level boss fight. Oh my god. Where is everybody else? Like, they have to be on this ship. This has to be part of the plan, surely. Someone's coming. Oh, shit! Is it him? Akutogawa? It is! It is! Bro! Yes, this duo again. Oh my god, yes. Right, so that was Bungo Stray Dogs Season 5, Episode 2. Uh, another very good episode. I can't believe this This Fukuchi... Is the name Fukuchi? I think it's Fukuchi, yeah. Uh, is the, the mastermind behind the Decay of Angels. Um, I, I have to feel like the, this was part of the plan, but it also could just be that Arampo trusted him 100%, so he never had to use his abilities to try and figure who, out the, who this was yet. And it could possibly be him. I don't know. I mean, uh, like, Aktagawa is here, so, I mean, some kind of plan was formed. But I'm just wondering where the rest of the, de the detective agency is, because, like, I feel like... I don't know, they, they wouldn't have come on the ship alone, maybe, or maybe they would have because they trusted him and they didn't want to get caught with loads of people. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to think, but I'm very excited. This is going to be one hell of a boss fight. We definitely need uh, Ats Atsushi and Aktagawa for this. Um, overall, very excited for it, though. This duo is amazing. I love their fight in Season 3, was it? Season 3? So, yeah, looking forward to that. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.